Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. Let's do a very, very quick fire geopolitical update, actually. All right. Very quick fire. Let's go over a gist of what's happening for people who've not been that updated, and then we can build upon from there. Yeah, this is a very interesting year, 2024. It's a year of elections. We just had the Bangladesh elections. We're going to have the Indian elections, the Russian elections, the US elections as well, and, and elections in other places as well. Uh, so it's going to be a very eventful year. We have wars going on. There's a war in the Middle East. There's a war, an older war in Ukraine. There is conflict in various parts of the world brewing. There's China, Taiwan. There's always a flashpoint. There's North Korea that's acting up a little bit. Um, the Middle East could be a problem. India and China... Uh, on the on the disputed border between India and Tibet, we've had some flash of some some issues recently. There's always Pakistan, the good old bad boy, you know, the attack dog of other powers. And this Europe, there's the recession in Europe. There is so many so much things happening. Russia is obviously by now. I think it should be clear to everybody. Russia is dominating the Ukraine war. They are in no hurry. They are just sitting there. And the Ukraine army has destroyed, has been destroyed more or less. They are now inducting elderly people into the army. They are inducting pregnant women into the army. The Ukrainian armed forces, horrific situation. Uh, Mr. Zelensky is, sitting, is still sitting pretty in, in Kiev. So there's so much happening right now. And uh, there could be a lot of eventful things happening this year. One hopes there are no new wars and one, hope they, one hopes there is no escalation of existing wars but uh, yeah we are moving towards a period of geopolitical uncertainty chaos there's afghanistan of, of course sitting out there there's the middle east there's central asia also interesting place this is africa no one talks about africa there have been coups last year in africa where in in niger for example in burkina faso there was a coup before that and so on um, it, so Africa, the Sahel region, the sub-Saharan, the Saharan region of Africa is essentially a geopolitical chessboard where bigger powers, France, Russia, the US, etc. are playing various geopolitical games. China is always there. It's not It's not far away. So there's a lot happening in the world. I hope there is. we don't see a lot of chaos. And obviously there are the elections. And when there are elections, there are all, there's always the possibility of foreign interference in various elections. So there could be that. There was an, an attempt to interfere in the Bangladesh elections and to effect a regime change over there and get Mrs. Uh, Sheikh Hasina out of power and get the other party, the opposition parties to power. Did not work out and certain very big powers are not happy about that. They have said this was, this was not, a, not a free and fair election and they could do the same in other elections as well. So we over here will have to be careful. A lot at stake in various elections. The Russian elections, more or less, we could say that Mr. Putin should win. <laughs> the US elections, God knows what's going to happen. So yeah, a lot at stake. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.